In April 25th, Creative Assembly launched a, a game update for Empire and Napoleon Total War. Empire Total War, it seems that the mods are working fine. However, the mods for Total War Napoleon, uh, more many of them have been uh, broken and one of them is uh, the Great War. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix it so you are able to play again your beloved mod. So, as uh, many others, I had the same issue when the, this update uh, dropped. It actually broke uh, the mod and I couldn't play it. My name is Dario from Gaming in a Daydream. Please like and subscribe for more, uh, for more videos and updates and playthroughs, Total War playthroughs and many other stuff. If we check the page on ModDB for the Great War mod, the developer said uh, bad news. Creative Assembly has effectively nuked our mod with their update. They said that the mod is broke thanks to the new update. Uh, many people complaining that I can. I have actually, this is my personal account, I have actually uh, mentioned in here how to do it. And I have created a page on my own of ModDB and I have uploaded the files that will be needed to, to fix. So feel free to check it. The link will be in the video description. You can download these files and follow the instructions to uh, to make it work. Now, when you have downloaded the files, you can place them on your desktop, for example. You can come here to on your Steam library to Napoleon, right click, properties, go to local files, browse, and this will open the folder where the game files are. Now you can see here, you go backwards. This is Napoleon Total War. This mod in particular uh, recommends to be in C. I have everything else on another drive, but this one is on C. So there are some files in here that uh, the patch had uh, created. Now there's one that you won't find here it's on my desktop that you have to cut from this folder. It's a driver. And as you can see, I have it here. It's called d3dx9d is a small dash 40 dot dll now this driver after the the update would be here you have to cut it and put it away i left it at the desktop just in case but even if you if you go to steam and you ask to check the integrity of uh, files etc most probably this would be downloaded again on the other hand you will have from the files that you are getting uh, you can get on the ModDB page. You will see that there are replacement files for the main Napoleon Total War folder and files to be added to your data folder. Now, the replacement files, since we are in this folder, would be the uh, Napoleon.exe, that is the executable for the game, Steam API DLL, and install script.vdf. These three files have been updated with the patch from Created Assembly. So what I'm doing in here is providing some old files that I had on a, on a computer that didn't uh, patch before. So they are older files and you're going to substitute uh, the files into this folder. So you, you will copy and paste and the Windows will tell you uh, the files already exist. Do you want to replace them? You will say yes. And they will replace with these old files. You can see they are, these are from 2022. And this is from... Uh, this doesn't matter. The, the date doesn't matter. It will, it will work. Now, the second one are the files to be added to the data folder. The update from uh, Creative Assembly, what it did is in the data, it deleted... Uh, a lot of uh, uh, pack files that uh, all these two four six eight nine all these pack files have been deleted and the great war mod works around these pack files so without it 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 doesn't work now you can download the files from here and what you will do is just copy and paste and place them inside your data folder remember this is the your Napoleon Total War. You go inside. Here are the same the first uh, files that we talk about, and then you go to data, and you will add this uh, this uh, pack folders 
in here. That's it. And then uh, you should go to your Great War and Launcher, and you can launch from here. Like always, Launcher Options and Launch the Mod. I have to stop because uh, I'm recording with a screen recorder, and if I click on the game, it won't record the game. But uh, you can see we are at uh, April 27th, and I'm going to be playing this. I'm going to show you in just a sec. So here we are, guys. Uh, this will look like this because I have a, a screen of 1600p, and uh, <laughs> it doesn't show the, the the background. But if we change the graphics to uh, 1080p, for example, there would be no problem. Anyway, I just want to show you here that uh, you can start a new campaign. Now I'm playing the 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 mod. I'm gonna continue my campaign, and you can see that the game is working. The mod is working without any issues. Here we are. So this is my Spanish campaign. I made a video showcasing the well, checking the the, the mod uh, a few months ago, and this was the the campaign. We had a battle in here, and uh, as you can see, uh, you can recruit all the the, the units. The uh, technology, etc., is all for the the Great uh, War mod. This is the 6.1 version, the last one, and as you can see, it works. So you can uh, check the 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 ModDB page that I show you before. The link is in the description. You can download the fi the files if you don't have them, uh, and then follow the instructions to revert your game files. Of the Napoleon Total War game files to previous to the the patch from Created Assembly, and you should be able to 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 work with the mod. Please leave a comment, and uh, if it worked, uh, inform so more people can can join and and, and keep playing this awesome mod that the developers have taken a ton of years to develop, and it's a pity if it disappears. If you have a 12th generation uh, chip, then uh, it's not gonna work with this uh, with this mod, I believe. You will have only vanilla available, and Napoleonic Total War 3. It seems that it's working uh, 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 without issues because it doesn't use that uh, pack files with the mod. But anyway, I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you very much for your time. Please take care. Be safe. If uh, this uh, works for you, please give me a like. And consider subscribing if you want to see some more Total War and other stuff uh, gameplay on my YouTube channel. So, bye bye for now.